Okay, so example A says we need to find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to uh, y equals negative one-third x plus four and that passes through the point nine negative five. So what we need to do first of all is find the slope of the perpendicular line. Now remember that perpendicular slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Negative reciprocals. So if the slope of the old line m of the old line is negative one-third, then the slope of the new line, m nu, would be flipped over, three over one, or just three, and instead of negative, it's positive. So the slope of our new line is three. And then we know that the new line goes through nine, negative five, but we don't know b for the new line yet. So we need to find that b and we have a y right here and we have an x right here and now we have an m right here so we can just put those pieces into the y equals mx plus b form and solve for b so we'll have negative five is equal to three times nine plus b so now we have negative 5 equals 27 plus b. Subtract 27 from both sides. And we get negative 32 is equal to b. Now we have our m and we have our b. So we can write the equation of the line. y equals 3x minus 32. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B says, graph 3x minus 4y equals 8 and 4x plus 3y equals 15 and determine if they are perpendicular. So let's bring up our graph here. And we have 3x minus 4y equals 8. Let's put these both into y equals mx plus b form just because we've gotten kind of used to using that. So we're going to solve both of them for y. So our first one starts out 3x minus 4 y equals 8. So we'll subtract 3x from both sides. This will cancel. Negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 8. Um, divide both sides by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. Divide by negative 4. There we go. Negative 4 is cancel. And we get y equals 3 fourths x minus 2. So there's our first equation of y equals mx plus b form. Let's do the other one real quick. And we'll have, I'm just going to go ahead and subtract the 4x from both sides. So we'll get 3y equals negative 4x plus 15. Divide both sides by 3. And we get y equals negative 4 thirds plus 5. Okay, so now we know that our second line has a y-intercept of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a slope of rise negative 4, run 3. So we go down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3, and we have another point right there. So we'll draw our line in. So our second line looks like it runs right about like that. And then our first line its y-intercept was negative 2, so it has a point right here. Oops, point right here. There we go. And then its slope is rise 3, run 4. So it goes through right here. Like so. And then determine if they're perpendicular. Well, all we have to do to determine if they're perpendicular is see if their slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. Since the one slope is negative 4 thirds and the other one is 3 quarters, if we flip this one over, 4 thirds becomes 3 quarters. And since this one's negative and this one's positive, yes, they are perpendicular. Perpendicular, yes. All right, let's take a look finally at example C. Example C says, find the equation of the line perpendicular to 
y equals 2x plus 7 going through the point 2, negative 2. This is very much like the first one. Perpendicular slope is negative reciprocal, so the other line will be y equals negative 1 half x plus whatever b is, and we don't know yet, so we'll substitute in 2 and negative 2 for x and y. Negative 2 equals negative 1 half of positive 2 plus b. Negative 1 half of 2 is negative 1 plus b equals negative 2, add 1 to both sides, and we get negative 1 equals b. So our final equation would be y equals negative 1 half x minus 1. There we go.